I've decided to bring you higher quality content. Folks, you may now stare at my hands for 10 minutes. Just kidding. I'll show you stuff in just a moment. So this is going to be about the worst knives that I own or owned, as the title says. And uh, so first off is, oh, I suppose it's a dishonorable mention. because It's not exactly an honorable mention when it's about the worst stuff, right? So this is the Smith & Wesson SW8. It's not among the worst I have, but it's bad enough to deserve a mention here. So the general concept is not too bad. So it's got this sort of spear point blade here and you can unscrew the handle to put it on to a spear shaft. So you can actually use that for a survival situation. If only they hadn't used a plastic thread. This just kind of blows my mind. I mean, really? <laughs> so take a look at that. It's got a metal socket, but the part that screws into that is plastic. And you can already see the problem with that. It snaps off and then you're left with this thing that just can't be used properly. This won't stay together properly. It cannot be used as a spear anymore. Uh, I could only use it as a spear if I drill into that bit and, and manage to get it back out. It's pretty thoroughly stuck in there. I'm also not a fan of the round handle because, well, let's face it, a knife with a round handle just isn't as good. It doesn't handle as well as you can imagine. So, yeah, I'm not particularly impressed by this. And I wasn't even that rough with it. I just did my regular testing. Nothing crazy. But, yeah, either way. So now, let's move on to something that I don't have here anymore. And that's the Smith & Wesson. Yes, it's again s and The Power Glide. It's about as useful as a power glove, and its name seems to be inspired by the sex toy industry. Now, this was one of those novelty knives that I got because it's kind of cool, and it's the closest to an out-the-front knife that you can legally own in Canada. However, the problem was not just that it broke, but it broke into something that was suddenly illegal and that I had to dismantle because it turned into a weird sort of balisong-ish thing. So it could have been classified as a gravity knife. So yeah, I had to completely destroy it. And this was with very light use. So that is rather laughably flimsy. Then we've got the remains of this thing here, which I also had to destroy because of Canadian law. Now this is, or used to be, the Card Sharp 2. And the reason why I had to destroy this and also remove the review video is because in June 2015, the Royal Newfoundland Constabulary, or RNC, decided that these are considered con a concealed weapon because they don't look like a knife. Now, this is what they look like originally. And the issue is that items with a blade length of under 30 centimeters that resemble innocuous objects are prohibited in Canada. So the RNC just arbitrarily decided that this does not look like a knife, even though you can clearly see the knife blade on there. But either way, so I made the review in 2014, and then the next year when this whole debacle came up, I just decided Nope, it's not worth the risk. So I removed the video and destroyed this thing. So it's just clearly a knife blade now. I was a little too generous in the review. I mean, I pointed out some of the issues and limitations with it, but this thing is, it's pretty bad, quite frankly. The steel is not the worst. And for what it is, for how thin it is, it's actually decently strong and whatnot. But the thing is incredibly flimsy, or was. This, this was really easy to just snap with my fingers. And it's, it, does, it did not feel good in the hand. It was not very practical, super flimsy. And if you happen to put this in your wallet and forget about it and then show up at a US airport, they might give you a very thorough prostate exam. You don't want that, do you? 
and then we've got this ensemble of misfits here this stuff has got a bit of a background story I made a video about this quite a number of years ago where I talked about knives that I would never buy I was just browsing a knife store and um, yeah there were certain things that I found particularly ridiculous that I was poking fun at and then a while later the owner of the store decided to send me those so yes what we've got here is let me see in order of ridiculousness let's maybe start out with this yeah <laughs> so a lot of people were speculating that this was that this boot here was supposed to represent Italy also because of the colors and whatnot but no this is somehow a Christmas themed knife I really don't get it um, lady claws I suppose it's just w w why I mean I get it collector's item novelty blah blah whatever but this is still it's still a bit mind-boggling how silly this is a candy cane style stiletto wearing leg as a knife handle do I really need to say any more does it get weirder oh you bet how about the broke back mountain knife or I don't even I, I don't know really what to call this it's just the first thing that comes to mind so first off it's got this tiny nail nick here which I can't even find right now where the heck was it <laughs> somewhere around here there it is Ugh. so as you can see this is kind of tricky to open and then it's got the world's puniest little knife blade on there I I even hesitate to call that a knife because I mean look at this <laughs> this is not even the length of my thumb and you've got this pink cowboy hat which of course is as you can imagine the most ergonomic thing in the universe so it's just I I can't describe how crappy this is I'm at a loss here again pure novelty and completely pointless and just well I guess it's a practical joke although the real joke is that there's nothing practical about this whatsoever well let's see what was this again die yeah there it is the infamous catfish knife perpetual mobile of hatred violator of souls slayer of sanity have you ever had a folding knife related nightmare well stare into the eye of the fishy abyss and you will I mean what what is up with this the face of horror <laughs> this thing just just cracks me up every time I mean baby catfish just have faces like this but that eye <laughs> the eye of doom is just this this is the most evil knife that I've ever seen this just looks like pure hatred it just it wants to devour your internal organs incredibly unpleasant design I mean I can't even describe how bad this feels with all the the fins and stuff it's just no the blade isn't even all that bad aside from the fact that it comes out of that mouth but you know the overall shape is okay it's still cheap steel of course it's not quite as laughably cheap as the hat thing but it's you know well you, you can see what, what what can you expect I mean something that looks at you like this what can you really expect it's not going to help you in everyday life that's for sure so <laughs> funnily enough though the fit is actually pretty decent so hmm out of these here this is actually the best made one like it feels like it's it's the most well put together it just wants to eat your soul but otherwise yeah there you've got it so this is the bottom of the barrel worst stuff that I have I'm literally just keeping these for the joke because they have a bit of a story behind them but uh, yeah they're cheap if you want them but don't blame me for whatever happens to you at night if you leave this anywhere close to your bed thanks for watching folks in soviet russia fish catch you